Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series based on Red Hat 8. Today's video is on list, create, delete partitions on master boot record or MBR and uh, GPT or GUID partition table disks. Okay, so the first thing to do is uh, add an additional disk if you haven't already. So uh, first thing that I have to do is shut down the uh, VM. Okay, so once the VM is shut, we need to create a new disk. So if we right click the VM settings, okay, and go to storage, and under controller SATA, we'll have to create a new disk. Sorry, a new disk, hard disk. Click that. Uh, create new. Uh, leave that as default. Next, dynamic allocate is probably easiest. Um, set size, maximum size, so maybe just 10 gig or something, doesn't really matter too much. Create, it's added, and it's, if you look at that, it's port 0, this one's port 1. Also recommend make sure they are different size disks, it makes it a lot easier to tell the difference between the two. Okay, boot the machine back up, start normal mode. Okay, I'll just pause it here to uh, bring the VM up. Okay, so we're now back into the operating system. So, usual, launch the terminal, if you're not already in there. Uh, again, so reckon, I recommend you just sudo your session to get to the root user. Useful commands first, so df-h uh, will list uh, the size um, mount points and available space. So we've got the current ones here, SDA1, uh, which is the SATA disk A, which is the first one, and then um, partition 1, and that's the boot, and we've got a, a special mapper uh, mount, and that's slash rel root, and that's the root partition, then we've got 36 gig size and used 5.5 gig and available 30. So yeah, it's quite easy to read and you've got some tempfs's, temporary file systems for some of the run directories, which are temporary directories that are added on boot. Cool. And also, if we do BK, K, B L K I D, and we'll get the uh, U universal uh, unique identifier so for the disk so this is that list the number here so if we look here SDA 2 here so SATA disk A that's 2 cool that's that and then we go we go LS BLK we can see SDA, okay, and we can see SDA1, which is the partition for boot. SDA2, which is second partition, has got two. It's got rel root and rel swap, and the swap partitions, and these are these the temporary FSs. And then, this is the disk I've added recently, so SDB, so it just goes A, B, C, D, you know, in all, all across, and you can see 10 gig, and a disk. So we've got different types of partitions there. Partition, partition, and uh, LVMs. And you can also do uh, part pro, which um, forces the system to check for any partition changes. So if we make any change, we'll use part probe to then get it to uh, update any partition changes. So first thing, we'll create an MBR, so or master boot record partition. So that is a tool F disk. So first thing you can do is F disk minus L, and that will list all the disks and partitions it sees. So we've got SDA one as previous, and you can see the one and two under there, and then we've got SDB. So that's the one we want to target. Uh, I'll just make sure I copy the whole thing. Okay. So first thing, so you do F disk, and then the disk you want to make changes to, include the whole 
in there. Okay, so so at the moment it's got no part, uh, recognized partition table. So that's what we're going to have to create. So with this, there's it's quite um, quite uh, easy to use, well, relatively. So first thing to know is obviously the M for help. It gives the most of the, the well, all the commands you'll need for this. So you've got the MBR to toggle it, toggle it's bootable, etc. We don't need that. So first thing we can do is print the partition table, and there's nothing. There's no partitions, so it's very simple. So we do it, and then if we look there, N for new partition. So for this one, we can uh, we can use use primary or extended. Um, primary being you know generally for bootable partitions, extended just for logical partitions. So uh, it really doesn't matter in this case. We can just do say E for extended uh, partition number. That leave it normally default one. First sector, uh, we'll let it at the very start, or you can go somewhere in the middle, but I always select the default. And if you want to use the whole um, drive, you can just press enter again, or you can say a certain uh, gig, uh, gigabytes, megabytes, so you could do like plus, uh, I don't know, 5G if you want to. See, and the size of 5 gigabytes. Okay, and then if we do a uh, the list, wasn't it? It was a P to list. We can see now we've got an, an a partition here created, and you can see if we do a write W, it's now written. Okay, so if we do and F disk minus L, we should see dev SDB, 10 kilobyte, uh, total size disk. We've got one logical disk of type extended, and that's SDB1. So if we do that uh, LSBLK, now we should see SDB, and then we've got a logical partition underneath there okay so now we we'll probably need to uh, we need to delete those partitions so we can create it as a, a GUID partition table disk so let's just do the F disk on that again and I think it's D for delete partition has been deleted so if we now do P to print we've got no partitions so if we write We've now written uh, the changes. If we do the same LSBLK, we now have just a flat disk. It's pretty pretty easy to use the uh, F disk. Right. So for GPD based partitions, it's actually so the the command for um, uh, GPD or GUID partition table type disks uh, partitions, we use GDisk. Well, it's pretty similar, F disk to G disk. Okay, so G disk, and then dev SDB. Yeah, so it's it's already seen that it's it's MBR, so it's converted M the master boot record to GPT format in memory. So we have to write changes obviously at once. Let's do a delete no partitions at the moment. So cool. So let's do a new partition, N. Again, you can, with uh, GPT, you've got a lot more partitions. Um, obviously, it was 1 to 4 before, and now it's 1 to 128. So you've got a few more options there. Let's again select the default of 1. Uh, first sector, again, I'll set it at the start normally. The last sector, let's set it, uh, let's do the whole disk, so just press enter again. We, it set the type as Linux file system automatically, but uh, you can show the codes. You can do the same with uh, F disk. In fact, I'll we'll show you just before the end for this. It's the same L, uh, but lowercase L to list all different type of file systems. But most cases, you're going to just need the 
8300 for Linux file system. But you've got like uh, LVM for for those because uh, we may we cover that later. Um, yeah, you've got swap as well here, for example, um, for the temporary FS. But yep, yeah, there's lots more codes. So we let it default to our Linux file system by pressing enter. Okay, we can do help with all that sort of stuff. So we can do W to write. Do you want to proceed? It's writing written. Now if we do G disk minus L dev SDB, we can see okay. It's you can see a lot more information in this one actually because it's more it's obviously quite more uh, it's a bit more modern than F disk the application so it's You've got the GUID for the disk. Um, you can see the partition information, um, and you can see sector, the total size, and the type. In fact, what I'll do, we'll just do the same G disk. What I'll do is D using one, and I'll just do a print P. Con, okay. All right. Yes. Okay, and we do the same command. It's now gone. Okay, so now we do an F disk on this. Okay. Okay. And now if we do an L, that's all the same uh, list. And we can see, we should be able to see Linux file system. It's actually 20 in here. But yeah, you get the idea. All different file system uh, types. So you can set that as part of the, when you create the partition. So again, new. You can do, I think, let's double check the command for this. Uh, change partition type T. Uh, so again, we do L. Oops. So again, T and then L. And then we can select whichever one we want. So perhaps we can create as a, a swap. So just like 19. Let's do 19. Change type, and if we do an L, uh, sorry, P to print the partition, we can now see it's Linux swap. So it's as easy as that, really. And then it will make the change when you uh, write it. So we do write, and then do an, uh, we can do an F disk minus L. You can see it's Linux swap now. You can do the LSB OK. Okay, so to revert all this, we just do a F disk again, and I'll just delete the partition, so it's ready for use in later videos. So again, just do a D to delete, R to W to write, and there's no partitions on there now. Right, that pretty much covers it. Um, again, hope the video has been informative. Um, thank you again for watching. Uh, I've just popped the Patreon details um, on the screen here. If yeah, if you if you don't mind, you've got a few few quid to spare. Please um, uh, donate uh, to my to my page. I'm trying I'm trying to keep it going um, as long as I can because I want to um, give everyone free access to um, learning tutorials about Red Hat and security subjects as well. Um, so just uh, just if you don't mind, yeah, it would be great. Uh, please just check it out. It's the very, very least. Um, yeah, so that's Patreon page. Um, once again, yeah, thanks again for watching. And like, subscribe, if you don't mind, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, well, thanks, thanks for any support you've given me. And uh, comments, questions, please pop it below. Yeah, thanks again. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.